Hey, what is up, guys? It's Coco here, and uh, today I'm bringing you a new tutorial. Um, I'm sorry, guys, actually, for not uh, bringing you a lot of tutorials. I've been really busy with school and doing um, edits for people, and now I'm in um, the clan that uh, we created, uh, my friends and I. So uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. So I'm going to go right to it for this tutorial. Um, so it's going to look like this. Back out, back out, back out, oh, back cool. out. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to import your clip. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to find my clip. So I'm just going to take a random kill cam from Metrics, one of my buddies. And um, so what we're going to do now is basically you want to find out when he took the shot because it's a very good uh, effect to change the mood of the video. I know it's weird what I'm talking about, but it changes the color, so it changes like the mood. So you can be like sad or whatever. So it depends on your colors. It could be deep like deep colors or whatever. Okay, I'm stupid. Um so gonna go uh, find where he where he shoots. So uh, you can go keyframe by keyframe. Shoots yeah here. I'm just gonna put this a little bit low so it doesn't lag. And so what you want to do you want to press the letter S on your keyboard. So, um, S. And then what you want to simply do is you want to go to transitions here. And you want to go to iris and go to circle out center. I'm going to drag this. And as you can see, you cannot put it on your track. So you have to put it at the beginning of the track. So you drag it. This will pop up. So what you want to do, you want to look closely. You want to drag the iris effect to the beginning of where you split it. That's very important. So you want to do that because you want, of course, the effect to come when you um, split the clip. That's logic. And so now, as you can see, if you play it, you're not going to see any difference. Really, there's no difference at all. So you want to go up here. You want to put the color to white, and you want to just go go in the middle to see the difference. What's going to happen? You want to drag in the border to about how much you want. You can go up to here, but it doesn't look nice at all. I want to go about 242 or a little bit more. Uh, 253, that's what I use. And the feather, just not to make it so sharp, could be about 84, looks good. Or I usually put around 93. It's very nice. So if you watch it, it's going to look like kind of a. It's not, it's not a CC lens, it's a different effect, but it, pre it looks pretty nice. Even though without the color correction at the end, you can see. But of course, it's uh, you have to put the color correction for uh, for it to be nice. So you have to now import your color correction. Um, it depends. You can make your color correction. Uh, I do most of mine. Uh, what I do, I normally go on to tutorials. I see what they use, and after I try to play with the colors. So I just downloaded a pack because um, I don't want to give you guys my color correction yet. I'll do it at. Uh, I mean, I think I'll give it uh, to you at the end because uh, I have 300 subs. Thank you, guys. So I'll give it to you. So what you want to do? You want to go to here and to Event Effects. Uh, I don't, I don't remember which pack uh, I downloaded it from, um, but you can just search up uh, download color correction pack or something like that. So just import anyone you want. This should pop up, and when you go here, the color should change like this. It's a pretty nice dark color correction. So. Um, that is it guys, I mean if you watch it here, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna put it, ah, let's put it to half, just to preview it, it's a really quick tutorial guys, uh, I'm gonna preview it a little bit now, okay, and if you wonder how I did that, all you need to do is to select the part you want to view, and put the quality to about draft half, and, uh, uh click shift and B at the same time, it, use it. So, um, thank you guys so much for 300 subs. I'll give you guys my uh, kind of a mini uh, editing pack for on Friday. And I'm currently doing a lot of edits for my team. You can go check them out. A sub would be really, really appreciated. So, thank you guys so much. Um, I love you. Peace.